G'day guys, in this video I'm just going to show you how to go about putting mainsail onto the printer and replacing fluid. Um, I personally prefer mainsail, uh, just what I've used. Uh, fluid's probably better. I'm not really going to get into that, I just prefer mainsail. So some of the restoring cam work I did um, in my last video was just leading up to me um, sorting out mainsail. So this video here is just going to show you how to put mainsail onto the printer and it'll also give you the ability to switch backwards and forwards if you want or again just restore it back to default. So I'm just starting here again with the default um, fluid interface that the printer come with and of course again go to the github page and this one will be K2 mainsail and these are the files that you're going to need and like the webcam video you're just going to run commands and of course uh, you need root access enabled on your printer to be doing these modifications and I forgot to mention in the last um, video that um, firmware updates may remove these changes because just the way Creality seems to update their firmware they kind of just seem to write an entire image and it just wipes everything out so if you set these scripts up or whatnot you may have to rerun them after firmware updates so come on down to the bottom of the page and again you've got the commands so you just have install commands restore commands and switch so just briefly the install commands are what you're going to use to install it if you want to uninstall it restore commands and if you just want to switch between the ui say backwards and forwards between fluid and mainsail you can run this command it'll give you a prompt on which ui you want to choose and again we'll be using putty or whichever ssh client you want to use and then you log in with your printer's ip um, you have to enable root access on your printer of course and um, like before root is the login and then the password's creality underscore 2024 so that primes us to be able to do commands so it's just like the other video you just want to copy those commands and then just simply hit paste. Might not look like it's doing anything, but um, it's downloading the files off GitHub. So once it says complete, you're pretty much done. So now you can come to the fluid uh, or the printer's UI again, and it's going to be sitting like this. Um, if you just hit reconnect, it's going to load fluid because uh, the web browser has that cache if you already have it open. But if you just hit refresh, um, it'll load mainsail and then yeah so there's mainsail running on um, the K2 and everything's been put in I've done the webcam um, and uh, you can go full screen webcam your GCO files it's pretty much the same so most of this is just for what I want personally um, and I'm just sharing it so other people can do it if they want to um, change from fluid to mainsail totally up to you um, but we'll go back to the commands anyway and I'll just show you um, being able to switch so I'll go back to the github and um, if you want to switch the UI just copy that command go back to that and just paste the command in and it'll pop a, it'll pop a prompt and ask you which UI you want to go with so we'll just type 1 and we'll go back to fluid and again it'll refresh because the web browser has all the information cached but if you just hit the refresh and it'll pop you back and then go back to the github if you want to remove it you can just take the restore command and paste that in this will ask you if you want to put the moonraker back to the original factory default version so if you don't want the web camera and you just want the printer to be how it was before um, you can select yes or no here um, totally up to you so I'll just select no and then we just hit refresh now if the camera comes up black like this it's just because it didn't load so you just hit refresh it's a little bit buggy the camera feed um, but yeah, so that's fluid running with it all. And if you want to um, remove the Moonraker again, you can just type the restore um, script again. And it'll ask you, would you like to remove it? So you can go yes this time. 
and it'll put the original Moonraker back on. So whenever you're messing around with Moonraker, it just takes a couple of seconds to work itself out. Then you click on Reconnect, and then now it's back to how it originally was. So after you've run all of these scripts, if you wanted to um, put uh, the mainsail back on, you can um, just pull the switch um, command because you've already installed the files. So they're still sitting there, but um, just not being used. And to say we want to go to mainsail, now it's going to tell you because I removed the Moonraker and put it back to default, it's going to ask you, do you want to install it? At this point, if you uh, don't install it, mainsail won't have a camera because uh, the old version doesn't work with the camera. But um, if you want to install it, you just go yes. So we've done that. Let's we'll come back to the UI and then we'll just hit refresh. And then we're back on mainsail. So you can switch once you've installed the files, you don't need to download them from GitHub. Uh, you can just switch between mainsail and fluid. So totally up to you how you want to do it. And yeah, you kind of get the idea if you want to go back to fluid. Then we just hit refresh and we'll be back on fluid. And um, yeah, so my preference is um, main sale anyway, so that's what this is all about for me anyway. So I'll put it back in main sale. And that's my sweet spot, that's where I like to be. So anyway, I hope this helps you if you want to put mainsail on your printer. And if not, um, this is mainly just to put the information out there so others can share it, use it, um, make modifications to it. But yeah, anyway, I hope this helps you.